JP Kids, Miss Jen here. This week our theme is bunnies, so I thought I would do a fun bunny craft with you kids. I will show you what materials you need and show you how to do it. And let's get started. It is a salt watercolor craft. So first of all, you're going to need a piece of paper. I have drawn a bunny on it. I've printed it out from my computer. You can draw anything you want. I just did a bunny because this week's theme is bunnies. We're going to need glue, some coarse salt, a little container so I can sprinkle the salt, a couple of Q-tips, a paper plate, and then you can use watercolors. I did not have any watercolors, so I just used some food dye I had from my kitchen and put it in a little portion cup and just added a little water to it to make my own watercolors. So. You don't need to have watercolors to do this. All right, so I'm going to start by, this is a two-part craft. You have to do the first part and let the glue dry. So maybe you should do this before lunch. And then after lunch, you can finish it. It should be dry. So let me show you here. Okay, so I'm going to take the glue. Now, you don't want a thick line of glue. We learned that the hard way. You want just a little bit. And just go over the line as good as you can. Doesn't need to be perfect because, oopsie, because we are going to spread it out with the Q-tip so the salt will go onto it. Then I'm going to take one of my Q-tips here and just kind of go over it just to make a thicker line so you have more to paint. See, so it really didn't matter if you got it right on the line. No big deal. Okay, and it's easy to do half at a time. Like, see how I just did the top half of the bunny? And then we'll go back and do the bottom half. Okay, so I'm going to take the salt, just like you would if you were doing using glitter. You just want to cover the glue. And make sure all of that glue gets covered. Now we don't want to waste this salt, okay? Because it's totally reusable. So that is where can you hold this? Thank you. That is where the paper plate comes in handy. So we're just gonna dump this onto the paper plate and then pour it right back in there. Now we're gonna do the bottom half of the bunny. All right. Get this around here. Like I said, it doesn't take that much glue. Q-tip? Yeah. Okay. And just take that Q-tip and just kind of smear it around the line. And you can draw whatever shape you want. Okay. Now we're going to do it again. I'm going to put it over the plate just so it doesn't get salt all over my table to clean up. Again, this is coarse salt. You want coarse salt. I guess it would work even if all you had was fine salt, but the coarse salt is going to work better with the paint. All right. And again, let me pour it back in here. Now you can make a face or whatever you want on your bunny. I'm going to do a couple of eyeballs real quick. This you don't need the Q-tip for. Just do it really lightly. And maybe a couple of whiskers. To the salt. Oh, you know what? We're going to give the bunny some pink ears right here, too. There we go. Okay. And now, all right, and now your bunny is made, and it should look something like. Okay, this one is all dry. I did this one a couple of hours ago, so you could see them being painted on this same video. So I'm going to have Kyla and Kelsey, my kids, paint them for you guys just to show you what it would look like. Hold on. Okay. 
So you're going to dip it in your water cup. Sorry, you popped it. Go ahead. It's okay. It's just so cool. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? It's going to take it. Let's see, Kyla, let me see yours. Whoa, see how it spreads out? Spreads out, like this. Go ahead, show me. Do it. See, you barely need to touch it. Can you do it, Cal? See? Dip it back in and show them. You just barely need to touch it. Alright. Well, that is how... Uh-oh. That is how you do salt water colors. And I hope you guys could see that when I turned it upwards. I think I turned the screen sideways. <laughs> Technology is new to Miss Jen, too. Um, can you get us water to this dog? Yeah. Okay, I hope you had fun. I will send a final picture of their finished projects. Bye, kids. I miss all you.